Company Focus 1 Success Journey and the Secret of Bombardier First, a brief history. The founder of Bombardier is Joseph Armand Bombardier, and Bombardier Inc. was founded in 1942 with its headquarters in Montreal, Canada. Bombardier originally manufactured and marketed snowmobiles. The company advanced to the production and exporting of airliners, business jets, and equipment for public transportation, for example, trains. The first secret to the success of Bombardier is its ability to build a brand name. Thus, afterward, it moved from being a local firm to a multinational conglomerate with almost 60,000 employees at a time within four business divisions, which are commercial aircraft, business aircraft, transportation and aerostructure, and engineering services. Bombardier has engineering and production locations in about 25 nations with a revenue of 15.8 billion US dollars at the end of the 2019 fiscal year. Secondly, let us look at Bombardier's product lines. Bombardier brands are Learjet, Challenger 350, 650, Global 5000, 6000, 7500, 8000, and the regional aircraft with the brand name CRJ series. As an example, the Global 8000 aircraft can cover up to 14,500 kilometers at a speed of 95 Mach, about 1,073 kilometers per hour. This means the distance a commercial aircraft would cover in 15 hours and a global aircraft would cover it in less than 10 hours. Now, let us discuss the company's strategy. The building of each type of plane which needs high precision involves a lot of materials that would be supplied from different parts of the world. Therefore, sourcing all the materials locally is difficult and if possible that would be very expensive. Therefore, the materials must be sourced from competent suppliers around the world that would be produced with high precision. That means suppliers that have the most competitive advantage using economies of scale from any part of the world would produce at the best precision, the best quality, and the best price. Parts are brought from the US, UK, China, Japan, Germany, Spain, and Mexico. Key Nuggets Bombardier is an example of transnational works as a result of 1. Globalization of production 2. Absence of trade barriers and intercontinental cooperation Below is the second Bombardier's secret to success. Bombardier incorporated globalization of production into the company's overall working strategy. However, there were challenges at a point. The first challenge. At the time, Bombardier developed the C-Series badge, CS300, which was a bigger commercial airplane, the following problems occurred. 1. Delays from suppliers. 2. Cost overruns. 3. Threat from the US government to impose 300% tariffs. Therefore, Bombardier morphed its strategy to survive and stay relevant by partnering with its competitor, Airbus. This was because Airbus was already operating in the US and it had the facility to produce the C-Series. By partnering with Airbus, Bombardier avoided the 300% tariffs. The C-Series was later branded A220. Moreover, let us look at the results of the Bombardier partnership with Airbus. 1. Airbus leverages its supply chain expertise and infrastructure to deliver and market the A220 line. 2. Airbus received more than 70 orders, with the expectation to sell more than 7,000 aircraft within 20 years. Meanwhile, Bombardier could only retain 31% of its ownership after the partnership with Airbus and could not develop another jetline, C-500. Again, let's discuss the second challenge. Bombardier needed liquidity, therefore, Bombardier sold its transportation business to Alstom SA for 8.4 billion US dollars in 2020. The money was to be used for the development of its business jetline. As of the end of 2022, after the COVID-19 pandemic damaged businesses around the world, Bombardier still declared a revenue of 6.9 billion USD with a workforce of 15,200. In summary, here are the key lessons. One, 
new businesses should build a reputable brand locally before scaling up. Two, global businesses should leverage the globalization of production. Three, globalization of production benefits both the producers and the consumers. Four, global businesses should have a contingency plan against tariffs. Five, global businesses should have a plan to morph their strategy, come up with a new strategy, or go into partnership acquisition when there is a major transformation or disruption. I hope you have learned a few points through this focus. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content. Please click the notification button to get notified whenever we upload new content. Thank you.